Hello friends, we are continuing with our topic of vitamins and mental health. Today we are going to talk about vitamin B5. This is also called pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid is used in the synthesis of coenzyme A. Now this coenzyme A is used in the Krebs cycle. However, coenzyme A is important in the biosynthesis of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. That means the nerve cells communicate with other nerve cells and pass the information from one to the other. Especially with acetylcholine, it's very important in number of functions, especially in the motor function, because the nerves or they ending up in the muscle and they communicate from the nerve cell to the muscle uh, through the acetylcholine. In fact, number of all the body muscles are being communicated through acetylcholine. The other important is in the brain itself where it forms the memories and we believe that if acetyl acetylcholine is deficient, that will cause memory problems. In Alzheimer's to me, disease, dementia, what happens is there is nerve cell damage and there is not enough production of acetylcholine or in early stages, the acetylcholine is not produced enough. Therefore, there is problems with the memory initially with the short term and then progresses and we try to give enzymes or medications that will stop the destruction of acetylcholine at least to help them. So if there is lack of pentothenic acid they are going to have problems with their memory with the conduction of the muscles and also because the vagus nerve supplying to the heart muscle uh, which tells the heart to slow down if the acetylcholine is not produced the heart will not get the clear message its deficiency is rare but if it happens it causes irritability fatigue apathy apathy means you don't want to do anything there is no motivation you are not interested to do anything. Acetylcholine synthesis is impaired, therefore neurological symptoms like numbness, that you don't feel anything, or there is paresthesia, that you feel pins and needles for no apparent reason, and there might be muscle cramps. Deficiency of pantothenic acid can cause hypoglycemia and that will lead to restlessness, malaise and uh, sleep disturbance. We move on to the next vitamin which is pyridoxine. Now pyridoxine it is required by the body to make amino acids, carbohydrates and lipids. Essentially this will play a role in a uh, major pathways in our cell, in literally every cell. Deficiency can cause pyridoxine de dependent epilepsy. So if there is deficiency of this, there will be epilepsy in serious um, pyridoxine dependent epilepsy. However, vitamin B6 itself is involved in the number of uh, other metabolic processes, especially in the lipid, in the carbohydrate and amino acids or proteins it is going to show its effect. The next vitamin is the bio, biotin. It, it is also known as vitamin B7. Biotin is important in fatty acid synthesis and branch chain amino acid catabolism and also gluconeogenesis. Now, when we say fatty acid synthesis, initially when we talked about the nerve cell, nerve cells or any cells in the body or in any organism, their cell membrane is made from fatty acids 
or phospholipids. If there is a problem in the synthesis of fatty fatty acids, there there is likely to be effect on the cell membranes, and it is also likely that the myelin sheath that covers the that covers the axons that take the impulses from the cell body from one cell to the other through the axon if that axon's myelin sheath is not properly made there will be problem in the conduction there will be slowing of the conduction or may not be conducting at all so therefore cells will not be able to communicate with each other and then causing problems in adults Neurological symptoms such as depression, lethargy, hallucinations, and numbness and tingling of the extremities. Now there are a number of things here. Lethargy, that means feeling no energy, feeling tired most of the time. Hallucination. Hallucination can be in any domain. It can be visual, it can be tactile, it can be vibratory sense that there is in hallucination what happens that there is no stimulus but the person perceives or senses something even though there is nothing and the person will feel numbness tingling of the extremities so this all could be because the fatty acid layer over the axons or the nerve cell itself is not having the right environment to function properly the next vitamin online is vitamin b9 this is also called folate and uh, the manufactured form of this folate is called folic acid now we know that deficiency of folic acid or folate will lead to neural tube defects and it has been implicated in autism spectrum disorder depression and why why this happens why why the folate is so important now the bioactive folate which is 5 methyl tetrahydrofolate what happens is it is a molecule that supplies the methyl so it is called a methyl donor to the target cell or to the target molecule and it will produce as adenosyl methionine which in short is called SAMI S -A -M, small e and this recycles the inactive dihydrobioterin this is another molecule which is required in a number of neurotransmitter uh, uh, manufacturing. Now, BH2 has to be converted into BH4, which is tetrahydrobiotin. And who does this? The folic acid, folate, will help convert the dihydrobiotin terrain to tetrahydrobioterin because because the tetrahydrobioterin is the necessary cofactor in various steps of monoamine synthesis. When I say monoamine, it will include catecholamines like dopamine from tyrosine to dopamine conversion. It will need BH4 from tryptophan to serotonin. It will need BH4. If there is deficiency of folic acid, these are not going to happen. And we know that dopamine plays a role in schizophrenia. It plays. It it, it is basically a reward uh, neurotransmitter, and a uh, lot of illicit drugs like cocaine, amphetamines directly have impact on the dopamine. And if there is lack of vitamin uh, folic acid, 
or pH4 is not properly um, uh, uh, converted from pH2 to pH4, there will be problems there with the mental health. And we know that uh, serotonin is involved in depression, anxiety, sleep disorders, and number of other problems. And the action of antidepressants may not be as effective if if there is lack of folic acid. Now, why this folic acid is important? One reason is because sometimes we take some other medications for other problems, they will actually interfere with the conversion of folic acid to active folate. And one of the example is the antibiotic called trimethoprim. This is normally used for uh, urinary tract infections and other infections as well. But this is antifolate because it stops the enzyme that will convert the folic acid to active dihydrofolate and then into act more active tetrahydrofolate. And similarly, other drugs like pyrimethamine, this, this is antiprotozoal. It is used in uh, treatment like malaria. Uh, so they, will, they are antifolate. Methocrexid, it directly affects the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme and it inhibits them. So therefore, uh, uh, dihydrofolate is not being converted into tetrahydrofolate and methocrexid is used in chemotherapy. And there are other drugs like sulfonamides, antibiotics. One important medication, valproic acid. This is known inhibitor of folic acid. And this has caused major problems because it can cause birth defects. So if I am giving valproic acid to my bipolar patient and the patient is likely to become pregnant, there is a high chance that the child will be born with birth defects. It can be neural tube defects like anencephaly or spina bifida, or there can be even other problems like lip is not properly developed, heart problems, and uh, the child may be born with cognitive problems or even autism. So it's very important that we know the background of these. They are affecting our important folic acids which are required for the metabolism in the body. And we do not give them medications uh, like valproic acid to any female in their age where they can be pregnant uh, because there is a high chance of them causing defect. We will continue with our next video with the vitamins. If you like the video, please press the like button. Thank you.